Hello and welcome to Herman's RV Holidays. I'm Ads and on today's episode of 3 Minute Thursday, I'm going to be talking to you about how to prepare your RV for winter. So first of all, let's talk about water. Now of course, in the winter, water freezes, it gets cold. Uh, and if there's any water or ice in the motorhome, then all those pipes, they could actually burst and it's causing you some serious problems when you next get to use it. So what you need to do is reach into the fresh water tank and pull that plug, let all the water drain and don't put the plug back in. Keep it away from the, the hole so it won't accidentally fall in. We've got a water filter just underneath the kitchen sink and we remove that and take it home with us. Now the hot water boiler, that can contain a lot of water as well, so you need to drain that down. In Herman, our motorhome, we have a frost protection switch. I'm sure all motorhomes have this. Basically what happens is if the outside gets below 8 degrees, uh, the switch will open and all the water in the, the, the boiler will actually empty. But we also got a few taps around the same area, which you can see in this picture here. We open those as well to drain all the little, uh, little bits of uh, water that might be left over from the, uh, from the tank. Then there's a grey waste tank. Open that tap, let all the water out and keep that tap open. Therefore, any water that's stuck in there at the bottom may have a chance of escaping or evaporate. Then what we do is we drive around a bit. And what that means is we take our motorhome back to storage. And then what this does is as a vehicle is moving along, all the water is shaking down into the lowest part you can actually get to, which hopefully should be the plug hole. All the water's gone. Of course, not all of it has gone because there's the atmosphere, the moisture in the air. And of course, being winter, you're gonna get more moisture during the winter. I've heard that a lot of people remove all the bed clothes, and all the soft furnishings from the motorhome uh, simply because it's stopped the mold growing on them. Now we've not had this problem. Uh, we've had a bit of mold in the bathroom, but of course that's all enclosed and uh, you know always moist in the bathroom. So what you can do to remove the moisture is to use these caravan dehumidifier crystals. Now you, they're quite large, and you put them in. Um, they've got their own container, and you put them in a bucket or whatever, just have them lying around, and they suck all the moisture out of the air. Uh, now we don't use these simply for the fact that our roof lights have holes in them so air can actually flow in through the motorhome. So taking it out, taking the moisture out of the, out of the atmosphere isn't going to really help because it's always going to be there if you see what I mean. So I just had an idea with our, regarding the mould in our bathroom. Because it has a roof light, maybe what we should do is actually keep the door open so more of that mo air can flow through the living area. Not using your motorhome for a while probably does mean that your batteries are going to go flat. You have two batteries in a motorhome. You have the starter motor, just like any other car, and then you have the leisure battery, which controls all the lights, the heating, all that kind of thing. Both are going to go flat naturally. But of course, then there are car alarms, the stereo might be left on, and a whole bunch of things. That frost protector, for instance, that drains the battery ever so slightly. So you have a few options. First of all, you can disconnect the batteries. That's fairly simple, might be a bit of a grease monkey kind of thing, but it's a kind of a simple job. Then there are solar panels. Now you can either have one permanently fitted to the RV, or you can buy one of those suitcase ones, which uh, just basically fold up and fold out and uh, connect to the battery, which is pretty cheap, ranging from about 15 pounds upwards. Or the cheaper alternative, is to actually visit the motorhome over a winter a few times, maybe once a month, and run the engine for a few minutes, just to uh, warm things up, gets the engine going, and of course charges both batteries. Or well, normally does charge both, both batteries. On Herman it charges both batteries. A lot of people put covers over their motorhomes and caravans to protect them from the weather, protect them from mould, uh, protect them from debris falling out of trees, that kind of thing. Uh, however, they can also be a hindrance. They can damage the, uh, uh, the RV and they can cause more mould because the air inside isn't, being, isn't flowing around the, the living area. I guess what you don't want to do is have straps running around and rubbing against the, uh, the RV while it's really windy because that just could cause some really nasty damage. So I kind of recommend not using a, a cover, but a lot of people would say otherwise. It's entirely up to you. we come to the end of this episode of Three Minute Thursday, I guess the, the big thing is here, the biggest piece of advice is, is if you 
do want to uh, protect your motorhome from uh, winter, uh, then use it. Drive and use it through the winter. It's not a problem. Uh, it's a little bit cold, but you know, just wrap up warm and use your motorhome over the winter. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe and that notification button. And until next time, I will see you then. Bye-bye, everybody. The hot water fit... Now, the hot water boiler, that contains a hot... <coughs> the hot water boiler, that contains a lot of water. <laughs> Now you can buy these caravan dehu solar panel. Probably you could pick, pick, pick. Probably be able to pick one up for about fifteen pounds. Little small short tongue or what? <laughs> I think <they're laughs> I think they're at it next door. I think that's the end. <laughs>